Derek, can we talk right backs before we begin? Because you lost, it was a two for one deal, wasn't it, at the weekend, losing two in the same game. How are the two of them and how's that situation looking? Yeah, it was a two for one deal that you don't want to get down at the department store, probably, because, uh, you know, two of them went uh, out injured, uh, Donald Love and Ryan Cooney, and uh, both are very doubtful for tomorrow's night's game uh, at Sheffield Wednesday. When you're in that kind of a situation, is it a case of just asking somebody to be flexible and maybe do something they're less familiar with? Do you ask for a volunteer? How does it work? Yeah, I mean, what happened was, um, you know, Donald got injured in the first half. Ryan Cooney came on for him. Ryan Cooney then came in at half time, um, was injured. Um, we took the decision because we had already made a substitution in the first half. We really needed to know right away if he was injured or not, because if it wasn't and he came on, off after five minutes into the second half, then we would have used our two chances to make substitutions. So that was the reason that we um, made a quick change. Uh, Danell went to right back and uh, did ever so well uh, when he played there. Um, I said to him he was going to, to right back and he said, right back? Yeah, I said, right back. So um, uh, it was one of them was he's probably never played there before, but um, he did well in the day. In your experience, if a player's playing at a lower level, maybe mm -hmm. not a Premier League player or a Championship player, do you have to be more flexible? Because the squads are, by necessity, I think maybe a bit smaller and you have to be a bit more versatile. Yeah, well, that's where I think that the academy system uh, is here for. Um, the academy system, uh, and, and they talk about it a lot, is flexibility. Uh, they talk about players playing in different positions to understand what it is to play in a, a different position. So any academy player coming through the ranks and coming into a first-team environment should never... Uh, have to question, you know, where they're going to play, and um, I think that that is the beauty. And Danell, you know, was, you know, like that. He he went there, he played there because, you know, probably in his younger younger days that he's been able to play uh, in that area of the pitch, and that's the flexibility that you need to have. I know you've still been on the lookout for free agents. Is is there anything bearing fruit on that front? Not at this moment in time. We have missed out in a couple uh, who have moved uh, quite quickly to other clubs. Um, they had been come to a mutual agreement with their clubs. Um, there was a possibility of them coming here. We've, we've missed out and uh, we continue to, to look to that market. Just options wise, do you feel in a better position now, even though you would like to add another one, mm. than before you had the window open? Yeah, well, we've got players now coming back from uh, injury, which is certainly helping us. Um, we have changed the squad about a bit in the January transfer window. Five went out, uh, four have come in. Uh, so I think that we've added to the squad uh, in a way that uh, you know I see has helped us because we've been able to um, take in you know, some loan players. Financially, that's good for us as well. But not only that, we've got players that uh, are coming in and are hungry to do well. Now, as far as the form is concerned, mm. There's home form and there's away form mm. at the moment for Morecambe. How confident does it make everybody being on the run you're on at home? And is that complicated by not winning away from home? I think what's complicated by it is that uh, we go to Ipswich, we go to Derby and we go to Sheffield Wednesday. Three teams uh, who have got the biggest budget uh, in the league. Uh, three teams that... Uh, have not only got championship football behind them, but they've got uh, Premier League football behind them as well. So um, that's a challenge in itself. But, uh, you know, we go to Sheffield Wednesday, a club that uh, have done exceptionally well again this season and uh, looking to, to push out of League One back into the championship. And um, we just try and go there and, and try and, you know, take a draw or a win from the game. Does necessity dictate that you have to change your approach? for games and opponents like this? Yeah, well, I think that um, when you play against a team like Sheffield Wednesday, the abundance of talent they have uh, throughout their team uh, is never easy. You know, player for player, it, it doesn't equate because the balance sheet will tell you that, you know. Um, and what we try and do is to try and look at their strengths, try and deal with the strengths that they have, and then every team in this league has a weakness and uh, can we get the better uh, of their weakness and, and do better on them uh, on the night w with the strengths that they have. They've got a great home record in, in League One. You've mm. also got a great home record in, in League One. Do you find increasingly teams change their approach when they come here 
And does the same apply as you were just touching on there about going away from home? Yeah, I don't see um, teams changing too much when they've come here, except for Forest Green. Forest Green did change their approach from what the previous manager was in, and I can understand that because the new manager comes in and wants to try and uh, have a solid foundation from the back and then hopefully nick a point, nick a win uh, on its way. And that's what they did on Saturday. Um, So that's the first time... We've seen a team really come and sit in. Other teams have had a go at us, uh, which has helped us because it's left the space for us to attack. On Saturday, um, Forest Green sat very deep, and uh, as we have done uh, many times before to teams, and they uh, frustrated them. You've been to Hillsborough already this season mm. in the FA Cup, didn't get necessarily the result that you wanted. Mm. Does it help that? most of your players and your staff have been there and done it already this season what we've learned from that yeah I think so I think that um, going there we know the venue uh, even though the venue wasn't full uh, the night we were there it was a Friday night and uh, now the season ticket holders can come back in and uh, come to the game but we understand the players that they have we know that um, you know Darren Moore has done an excellent job there uh, he has had the resources to do that we understand but uh, as a team um, we've got to go there and, and try and cause an upset. Will it be an upset in a league game on a level playing field? Yeah, I mean, I think that it's always an upset. Um, uh, I've got huge respect for the teams uh, in this division that uh, have got fantastic fan bases, history, and um, you know the, the the balance sheet to to prove that. But um, that doesn't to say that, that it always goes their way. You know, we had shocks in the past, and uh, listen, we don't know. We go there, and it would be a shock for us to win. We understand that. I get the impression that that quite appeals to you. You'd like to have the resources. You'd like to be spending more money. But the idea that maybe neutrals might be writing you off ahead of a fixture does that does that press your buttons a bit? Yeah, I mean, I think that um, you know, throughout my managerial career for the last. Uh, 15 years, I've, pro- I've spent under £100,000 in total uh, on transfer fees. And not only that, um, you know, the wage bill that, um, you know, we've had uh, is, is at every club very, very difficult. And what we have to do is take in players, make them better, put them in an environment where they enjoy playing and uh, make them feel loved and that's what a number of teams have to do in our division and uh, we've done really well at it because we've obviously got promoted out of League 2 into League 1 and uh, you know the supporters are seen as coming up against the likes of Ipswich Derby uh, and Sheffield Wednesday uh, in recent weeks. Does that help to foster the kind of togetherness that you need in the situation that you're in at the the bottom end of the table? Yeah, I mean it takes you a long way. There is no doubt about it that um, Uh, A togetherness and a team spirit in a team can take you a long, long way. Uh, I've seen that in the past. Yes, we need players with, uh, you know, ability to open up defences and score goals. But uh, that ethos of everyone working in the same direction certainly helps you. How much attention does everybody pay to the table at this stage? It's in your own hands, of course, and if you win games, you'll stay up probably. But... Is it part of the due diligence, part of the process to know what the situation is and what a result means? Yeah, I mean, I think that um, there's no doubt that everyone looks at the league table um, and you look at a result uh, on a Saturday after the game and when we've beaten Burton 5, when we've beaten Bristol Rovers 5, there's no doubt that the dressing rooms at other places have gone, what's happening at Morecambe? How are they, what's, how are they scoring? Uh, and there's no doubt that we've looked at the Burton Albion results. They've won the last three games and thought, well, they just got battered against us. They've uh, statistically got battered against Exeter. We've come out a 1 0 win. Uh, you know, how is that happening? So we do look at these uh, other teams, and we've got to at times because um, we've got to concentrate on ourselves. We've got to win, you know, enough points to stay in the division. But we can get a helping hand uh, along the way. Is there a big psychological element of that? The impact that a good result or a bad result somewhere else can have? Yes, there there definitely is. It's, uh, you know, when you come in after a game and you've won, then everyone is looking to see, okay, how many points have we gathered on the teams above us? How far have we got away from the teams below us? And uh, that's, 
you know, a big thing in, in team sport and in football as well. It's can you catch the teams above you? And if you got a result at Hillsborough, would that send some ripples through the division? Yeah, I'd be, it, listen, if we, if we win at Sheffield Wednesday and uh, we're going there to try and do that, then it'll be one of the biggest shocks uh, in the division this year. Mm -hmm.